Hi, this is Greg with Horizon Dex. We're located in the outskirts of Bozeman, Montana. We're tearing down this wood deck right here and replacing it with a new Trex deck. It's going to include a new foundation, Trex elevation steel substructure, train sand decking, and then for the railing, we're going to be using a combination of uh, signature panels with transcend posts. Here's the, uh, the current ledger, and you can tell it was attached with nails only. This not is very good. Not uncommon to see on those older decks, but not good. Uh, it needs to be some kind of bolt or screw. Over here also, we, we have the uh, double two by rim joist assembly, um, and that is nailed with uh, nails as well. Connection. Um, not good. You can see the movement in it. That's why the deck was uh, all crooked and leaning in all direction. To start demolition, we install our concrete footings, six foot deep to go below the frost line. Uh, we poured our first one yesterday, this is the second one for this morning, still drying. Started installing our ledger. The ledger area is critical as far as uh, waterproofing, especially when there is a livable space below the deck line. We cut the existing waterproof membrane, which is this uh, Tyvek paper. We, we cut through it so that we can slide new paper on, uh, behind it to get the correct overlap. A lot of fasteners into our ledger. So the first layer that we use is a poly, polypropylene or po polyethylene, not sure. But it is the Moist Top brand right here. And the second layer is a self-sealing, rubberized asphalt, um, self-adhesive material. So we use both of those right here behind the existing waterproofing. Then you can guarantee a good waterproof connection. Almost done with our framing stage. A couple of things left to do. We're doubling up on our beam. We're using a double beam so that we can have less footings. Our joists here are a 12 inch on center, 14 foot span from the house to the beam. Uh, so that's why we use a 12 inch on center spacing, which increases to 16 inch on center for this area over here that has a shorter span. L70s brackets at the house, our mid span block. Uh, here on every bay, only in this area that has a span more than 8 foot. On top of the beam, every other bay for the beam blocks. We mounted our railing post. We're using the signature aluminum railing post, which are going to be sleeved with a Trex transcend post sleeve. We, are, we also use the Trex, um, Trex railing blocks. Those are already pre-punched and pre-made. It saves time and makes the installation a lot quicker and super strong.
four and a quarter. So. a complete turnkey deck replacement. I'm gonna take you around and show you the components that we've used and the finished product. Railing that we use is uh, Trek Signature standard vertical baluster panels with uh, black paddle coated finish. And uh, we did use the Trex trans and post sleeve in combination with the signature panel. Decking is Trex Transcend in Lava Rock color. Post sleeve in Vintage Lantern with a flat post cap. Your mounting post, you have three options. You can use a pressure treated 4x4 or you can use a surface mount post that bolts to, through the surface of the deck. Or you can use a joist mount post with blocking within your substructure system, which is what we used here. It's a longer post that bolts either on the inside of the rim joist through some blocking or you can also mount it on the outside as a fishing mounts. 